Yorkshire. Quick video to say me and the dog are on our way with a camera to test out whether or not we can unlock our drones because I was at a, an airfield yesterday and I went to go flying and it said no you cannot fly because IDGI say that you need to get an unlock code so I thought well all right then let's go and get the unlock code you know so I went to try and get the unlock code half an hour later I managed to get the unlock code okay the website you need to go for this is www.nolimitdrones.com and drones is spelt with a z on the end instead of an s so no, no limit drones Dot com. And if you go there, you can have a look into the Windows software and the Android software that you'll need in order to get this going. And it takes about 10 minutes to install the software and you will have to uninstall your DJI applications and install the version that they suggest from this site. So let's see what it says where I am it will be say a big red big red one now you can sometimes you can fly in these pink ones but not in the big red ones so I'm right in the middle of a big red one but we are on a main road well, we're on a main road and I know that the Salisbury plane is not active at the moment so we're perfectly fine so whereas DJI wouldn't know that information so I'm gonna just see whether the motors start up and stop and if the motors start up, then obviously I'm not restricted for my flying, so that will prove the app's worked. Okay, so we get onto the main screen. Yeah, we've got video, so no problem. Let's switch into video mode. And if those, if those propellers start, I have to be careful with how I do this. If the propellers start, then it doesn't have a restriction. There you go. No restriction. Let's try it with a Mavic. So that's one out of one. Let's see whether we've got uh, two out of two. Is it going to let me start up the drone? So, there you go. So as you could see, it worked very nicely. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So the NLD software allows you to upgrade and downgrade your drone and your controller separately now normally the firmware upgrade procedure makes you do your drone and the controller at the same time but this allows you to separate that out and you can individually flash and unflash reflash downgrade upgrade you can do all that through this option screen um, albeit I must say uh, it wasn't working for me for some reason. Didn't work on my Mavic or my Phantom 4 Pro, but I think they did say their website was down, so uh, hopefully that'll be coming back up soon. And then we've got the APK, which is actually your application program. Um, if you're using an Android device, you can patch the Android device so that it gives you all these modes like Force, the high power so it'll have longer range that thinks it's in America and when you're in Europe it downs the transmitter power on your drone so it doesn't go as far um, that puts it back up to full power you can remove the no-fly zones you can uh, not have to log in to DJI in order to go flying um, it will no longer say to you you must do a firmware upgrade otherwise I will not let you fly or I'll let you be flying very restrictedly um, i.e. 30 meters away from the controller at slow speeds which basically cripples your copter um, and it doesn't upload the details of where you flew to the DJI servers and doesn't share information with Google so that's all pretty good so yes if you patch your application uh, which again I had a slight problem in downloading uh, from their website I think it was down temporarily but um, I didn't have any problem typing into Google that I was looking for DJI Go version 4.1.3 APK and I found a site that allowed me to download that APK you then load it into this screen 
and you say patch and it will produce you a custom patched copy of the software with the elements in and out that you do or don't want uh, so you can pick and choose and it will create you a custom APK and then you put that on your phone you install it and job done and here we see the screen where you can dial in how much speed you want how much vertical speed how fast it goes up and down uh, how fast it goes forwards and basically how much tilt it is it's allowed to have so how far it can tilt over to fly into winds um, it also can up the, the return to home speed so it'll come home as quickly as it possibly can and it can disable the no-fly zones which uh, will stop you taking off near airfields near danger areas and restricted air flying zones uh, which can be a real pain in the in the bottom um, and it will disable the altitude limit of 500 feet um, as many of you know in the UK we are actually allowed to fly higher than that um, you can fly as far as you can see basically with your eyes so you can take off that limit which has been introduced in more later versions of the DJI firmware um, so yeah pick all your options here and press apply and job done and lastly you've got the parameters screen which is a manual way of inputting these changes to your drone um, so you don't have to use the sliders and the tick boxes in the previous screen but you know sliders and tick boxes is easy and you don't make mistakes and it's all done for you uh, but this is the old school way this is the way that uh, many people get confused with so you'd want to probably stay away from the parameters screen and just use the other screens which are more helpful uh, but they've included this just in case there are some diehards out there who want to still have control at a very very basic level of their drone so that's it if you can get your head around that um, you will be flying without restrictions very quickly so i would recommend the app and it is 20 pound per drone it's not 20 pound and then you can do all of your several drones it's 20 pounds per drone but i think money well spent for the fact that you're not going to get the aggro and rubbish that dgi have been dealing out uh, lately which is ruining flying for uh, professional pilots and uh, commercial pilots so yeah pop off and get it now whilst it uh, whilst it's there so thanks very much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe goodness knows why you'd want to but please do